So, uh, tell us, let's start with your name. Julie Sipes. And uh, where did you grow up? I grew up in a little small town called Baghdad, Arizona. It's spelled B-A-G-D-A-D. And it's a copper mining town with an open pit copper mine. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, did you struggle with weight when you were growing up there? Yeah, a lot. A lot. Okay. What, did you try to lose weight on your own before the hospital? Or? Um, a little bit, a little bit. Like it was, it was really hard though, because I really liked energy drinks and and um, just health, healthy habits of, of eating was just kind of non-existent, you know. Just it was is more like survival type of you know eat a hot dog for lunch type of things bologna and cheese sandwiches that, you know not not really healthy healthy things to to eat not like not like the um, more um, conscious effort I have now okay for it yeah um, so did was there a certain point where the it was like a large weight gain, like that. Yeah, yeah. Over the hospital, yeah. what caused that? So, so like I, um, I actually was steady at around two twenty for a long time in my life, but I had had some bosses that were just never satisfied, and I was a pharmacy technician, and just having people that are always down your, th you're just down your throat and kind of you're always in trouble for your numbers you're always in trouble for you know even though you try your hardest and be there every day and it's still not good enough it, it caused a lot of stress so like one day I totally um, went and had some my favorite caffeinated soda I'm not gonna say what it is because you know so it is a personal choice for everybody. Um, but I, I got that to kind of just like speed up my production, but also kind of just is a treat because I was just so frazzled, you know what I mean? But that, that one treat led to every day just having to struggle through, you know, just kind of a, like coping mechanism. And so that kind of um, gained weight. But when I really gained a lot of weight was when I had ended up being married um, to a narcissist that just um, threw my world upside down. It was it was really hard to deal with and I went literally from 300 something pounds to 650 pounds in a matter, matter of a of couple of years. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, what caused you to decide to go to the hospital? So the hospital, I actually was wanting to go to a nursing home because literally I, I couldn't help myself. And my ex-husband at the time was really um, not very attentive at helping me. He, he, um, he really wasn't, you know, not at all help, helpful. He would rather go out and spend time with friends, and so it was it was hard because I was struggling. But what ended up happening by God's grace was I got cellulitis. I hadn't had a bath for six months, and I'd wash my hair in the sink, but um, just kind of sponge bath as best as I could. But I ended up going to the the local gym and getting a shower over there and I think you know from not being able to cleanse my skin for that long I think it it really did a number on it and I got cellulitis but that ended up being a saving grace because I ended up in Banner um, Desert Hospital and then from there I went to um, Osborne Health and Rehabilitation and um, and it kind of protected me from from even though I had to deal with that marriage, it kind of protected me. It was a if it was a safety it was a safety thing for me. You know, it was a 
a, a safe place for me. Away from him. Yeah, it was a safe place, you know, like because like literally mentally I was I was I was too far gone, just frazzled from from everything, you know, just losing losing my job at first and then getting another job and having to work hard at that and then being sabotaged by my ex and you know trying to like he he wouldn't let me sleep at night he he wanted me up all night but he would sleep all day while i was working and i was trying to keep everything up you know and it was just uh, like literally my whole my whole world came crashing down it was just it was all trauma like all the weight gain was just you know a, a bunch of trauma that happened that that ended up like that ended up manifesting in a in a huge weight gain yeah i'm sorry if we yeah this up. so you were at the hospital for seven and a half years seven years seven and nine years. months seven years and nine months mm -hmm. um what how did they help you what did they do at the hospital so at the hospital they um they were really good about like um like especially when tony was brought on to the the um Tony's the, your trainer yes tony is the manager of the physical therapy team when he came on he was really good about getting people that were kind of written off by the former manager staff to get healthier like he would start working with them and they'd all improve including me and so that was one great thing was i really i really say that 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 whole team that was with tony is just rock star just world-class and, and therapist. Tony's even come into our home yeah to help you yeah on, yeah for free he's not right anyone for that yeah his own time no he's yeah. wonderful yeah great i really look up to tony he's yeah. he's a he's a good he's a very good guy to look up to he's you know he's one of those humble guys that his his um like train himself physically and mentally and in a good place in his life and it's it's nice to look up to people like that yeah he's he is inspirational yeah um did you see a lot of other people in the hospital in your same situation yeah there's so, a lot there's a lot and, and that have been in the hospital as long as you have or maybe longer i was um so I was there seven years and nine months, but normally the only way people get out of there is through death, to be honest. Wow, so they could be there a lot longer. Yeah. And, and I guess we should say it's, it's not necessarily a hospital, it's a clinic? Or? It's, it's like a nursing home, it's a, a long-term care. Skilled nursing facility. Skilled, yeah, skilled nursing facility. Okay. All right, um, did you, do you, you didn't see anyone else leave like you've done? No not at all okay is there anything they could have done better for you i think one thing that could be addressed is it's it's hard because even um tony's expressed to me that you know they um the food could be better i think the food could be healthier because like when i started losing weight i started having to use my own um, monthly allowance to buy things like avocados and and almond milk and and healthy. um yeah healthy stuff and like and and eat that and try to try to be better with that you know because it's 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 just kind of um the meals are just they're cheaply made because there's a lot of people in there, you know, right, and right, right. And so that's kind of hard to, to deal with. But I mean, even, you know, Tony has said, you know, I mean, I was guilty of it too, of just like, if you don't, if you don't get into the right frame of mind that Uber Eats and all that other stuff is just a simple click away on your, your phone or, computer you know and you Did could you just see a lot of the other people ordering the yeah I, I mean I was I was so guilty of it too I was so okay. guilty of it too so I mean I can't it was very easy to do it's very easy very easy to get to get you know the stuff that and it's hard too because you know if I I kind of feel like if the food were more high quality then people probably wouldn't wouldn't 
so much do do that, you know. Right, that they wouldn't look for an alternative. Right. Okay. Um, are you glad to be out? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm so glad to be out. Well, we love having you here. You're making a huge difference. Thank you. We're very excited about your progress. Thanks. All right.